All right, so today we got another GMC video. We're gonna be uh, polishing and ceramic coating the black paint. I brought the truck over here to my buddy Tyler's house. He's a professional detailer, so he's gonna help us take care of this. And uh, we're gonna start by washing the truck and getting all the contaminants off the paint. So I'm gonna take you guys through the steps and hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two about some uh, paint work. And uh, we'll try to get this looking good for you guys on camera today. All right, tell us what you got going on, to Tyler. I got soap and water. Oh, let's go, baby. So we got that soapy bucket. He's got a detailing set up here in his bed. Giving the truck a rinse right now, and then we're about to hit it with some soap and a uh, wash mitt. Foam man Tyler over here, let's go. I think I need to get him a ladder. He's too short for this truck. All right, so we're hitting it with the pressure washer one more time after that foam bath. All right, now we're breaking out the polisher. And we got the truck washed off and dried up. Threw up a little tent too because it's getting hot down here in Texas already. So we're gonna start with the back side of the truck, I believe, and uh, start polishing out the paint and prepping it for the ceramic coating. All right, explain what you got going on here. Shoot, I can't reveal my secrets, bro. <laughs> okay. We're hitting the first panel, doing a light polish. Nothing crazy. Alibaba, Rupes. Let's go. All right, so there's Tyler's truck out of the reflection of this truck. So as you can tell, we got these panels finished up. Uh, just, just did a light polish. It was nothing crazy. The paint wasn't too bad, but he's working our way all over to the other panels. We're about halfway done with the truck. So we still got to get to this other side and we're trying to keep everything under the shade. So we got some trees and a tent keep the paint a little bit cooler so we don't get it too hot from the friction but uh, we're gonna finish up polishing here and probably take a lunch break and then come back in the afternoon to finish ceramic coating it all right so Tyler's basically done polishing out the paint we're doing a once over with the detailing rag to just get any last bits of dust or debris off the surface of the paint and then um, we're gonna go ahead and start getting the ceramic coating stuff ready to go Here's a quick view of the interior, which we're not doing anything to. It's brand new, it's clean. We don't need to touch that. So, you can see the paint's pretty clean. Looks good. So we're gonna show you guys the process once we start ceramic coating everything. All right, so uh, Tyler's gonna let us know what products he's using for this job. So I use a 10H coating from a company called Nizol. 10H is the hardness level. And so this coating essentially, once it's applied, you have to wet sand it off. That's how, how well it bonds. Applying it using a nice applicator pad and some microfiber to wipe it off. Sounds good. So we got a couple bottles of this. We'll see how many it takes to finish the entire truck. But uh, we're gonna go step by step, panel by panel, and just take it nice and slow. That way we don't miss any surface area of the vehicle. So we're gonna get started with that. All right. So I don't know how well y'all can see that, but Tyler's ceramic coating this section right now. We're applying it and then you wanna make sure you wipe it off before it fully dries, otherwise it's gonna crystallize. So you wipe off the material and then it'll leave you with this deep gloss black finish. This Jeep is here. All right, so Tyler's out here, ceramic coating the wheels now. Pretty much done with the body of the truck. It's looking pretty close to perfect. So I'm gonna give you guys a walk around so you can kind of see how the paint looks at different angles. Oh yeah, it looks good. So as you can tell, it's got a lot more of a deep gloss black finish and it seems to be a lot smoother, less imperfections on the surface now that we've polished and coated it. So this should also help with the longevity of the paint. 
between getting little scratches or sun damage, the ceramic coating will help it wear long term. It'll also make it easier to wash as well. So these pieces right here, paint matched aftermarket paint on the fenders and the lights. As you can tell, they got a pretty good gloss finish to them now that we've done the works. All right guys, so we're racket, wrapping up the truck right now. Tyler just finished ceramic coating everything. Here's one more last good angle of the paint for y'all. Got the wheels done as well. It's looking probably the cleanest that it'll ever look. So we ceramic coated all of the paint match components down here as well. Tail lights, fenders, gas cap, all of that. So we're gonna have to let it cure for probably like 24 to 48 hours, let it dry up and stuff. And uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on us here in Texas, but the truck is looking real clean. If you guys have any questions about ceramic coating, make sure you guys hit up Tyler. His information will be that down there in the bio, his Instagram, you can follow him and message him for any questions or uh, quotes you might need. He's located in the Houston, Texas area. So that's pretty much it. This was a pretty quick video, just something sweet and simple, but I figured I would just take you guys through the process of ceramic coating it since I know it's more of a new technique and a lot of people are interested in it. So I highly recommend it. I had this on my F-250 as well and it helped that black paint last a lot longer. So did the same thing to the GMC. That way, hopefully we get the same results over time as we did in the past. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.